What is going on YouTube? This is Astro. So I'm going to review a 2008 mixtape by Dalla. Basically this mixtape is called Another Day Another Dalla and it came out in mid-2008. So the thing with Dalla is he was a rapper that was on the verge of blowing up in the late 2000s. He was signed to Akon and T-Pain's label but his life was cut short in early mid-2009. He was working on an album called like A Dalla in a Dream or something like that. But the concept about it was he did manage to get out a couple of hits and particularly this mixtape which had the hit single who the fuck is that on there which i remember this song from 2008 when it first came out and the thing about it was was i knew about the hit single who the fuck is that in 2008 before he had passed but the concept about it kind of was was he just did not manage to really follow up this song and he was on the verge of doing it i do definitely think that there would have been some stuff that probably would have happened that would have gotten him some more hit potential i think he would have been a pretty fair musician probably in the same vein as like plies and folks like that and like, uh, you know, this folks like late 2000s kind of cats, Tyga, some of those type people. I definitely would have seen him being like, but I look after this mixtape. It has a number of pretty hot freestyles on here, and it does have some new songs on here also. They have like a lot of valve towards it. I do like the multiple kind of T Pain and Akon appearances. It's really like a pretty flashy and litty kind of club album. I definitely like the concept of getting some of these because there's a lot of night gems on here and stuff like that that has some good orientation. Plus, all the freestyles, he's a pretty good freestyle rapper. He reminds me a lot of Nip see hustle and his kind of cadence and tone of the way he spits but i would have to say this is like a pretty rave mixtape he packed this mixtape with 23 songs and minus the intro there's 22 songs and the thing about it is is out of those 22 songs i wound up recommending to you 19 so this is obviously going to get a pretty rave score but i look after it like the problem that i had with this mixtape is i downloaded this from dat piff back in the day so i had had it for a while before dat piff kind of shut down but the problem with it is kind of is that a whopping five songs on this mixtape are not actually available on the mixtape anymore so five of those songs would be like uh brown paper bag freestyle i won't tell freestyle uh storytelling freestyle bus it babies and then there's one other one like I do me freestyle which is off of I'm a do me by Rocco so that's kind of the thing the unfortunate the unfortunate thing about that is just the fact that a lot of these songs on here are some of the best songs on the project so basically I really Dalla is so low-key that it's difficult to really find a way to recommend some of this just because he's kind of tough to get a hold of when I got this off of Dat Piff it was kind of low-key anyways I don't even know if it had 25,000 downloads or something like that but nowadays it seems like it's a pretty intricate but nowadays it feels like it's a pretty intricate kind of relic to kind of get a hold of it came out in mid 2008 so that's over 15 years ago so I look after it I don't know if it's I tried looking for it on certified mixtapes and I don't know if it's on the internet archive or some of those type places so it's just kind of a toughie to kind of get so it may just be the concept that you might just have to download these songs individually off of YouTube which is kind of annoying but that's probably the concept of what I would do just because I it's really kind of a disappointment that this mixtape is just not more readily available that's definitely why I wanted to review it just because I look after it just being able to say that this is definitely I'm gonna go ahead and say this is a 10 out of 10 mixtape it just hits that hard has so many good freestyles on here like doll is a pretty capable lyricist has some good he has some good beat choices like still kill by 50 cent storytelling by like the song that DJ drama did that had outcasts on there boss which was Rick Ross's The Boss from 2008, Superstar by Lupe Fiasco, Lollipop Freestyle by Lil Wayne, and, you know, just stuff like that. Rock Boys by Jay-Z. There's just a good assortment of songs on here that have, like, a lot of flash, and he just kind of makes them, like, a pseudo song of his own just with the ability to freestyle as well as this sort of stuff kind of happens. But I do also like the new songs. I'm going to go ahead and talk about the single on here. I feel like the first single, which is kind of not quite as fleshed out, the, the first single on here is Who the Fuck Is That, which is kind of a more mixtape version. There's an album version that I think was intended for Dolla's album that never came out, but you can basically purchase the Who the Fuck Is That song and get the real album quality version, but I like the mixtape quality version pretty well, too. It's, either way, it's pretty good. So Who the Fuck Is That is like a flashy kind of 2000s era club bop. Has a great hook on there by T-Pain. He just nails it. This is back when he was completely on fire and had the Midas touch. And it's a good song to kind of get cranked to. 
this is a good song I would recommend to just have several beers, that type of stuff, get fucked up, get torched, some of those type moments, see some women, that type of stuff, as far as that kind of goes, just within that kind of pitch. But it's just kind of the concept that, it's just kind of the concept that this project is so low-key, it's just tough to kind of, I mean, this was a song that charted in like the top 85 of the Billboard 100, so this is kind of like a off the rim kind of bubbler this is kind of a good start for dollar back in 2008 but he just never really got the chance to follow it up he did drop at least two other singles throughout 2008 but it just didn't really reach the success of this one like i said i think he probably would have been in like plies territory and like blood raw territory and those type folks are maybe probably more popular than blood raw but just someone like plies just that would kind of get the occasional hit especially with like an r&b singer i mean he had akon and t-pain in his corner he had Akon and T-Pain in his corner who do drop a number of hooks on here. Akon does pretty excellent on So Excited and Block Boy and T-Pain's on here at least two other times apart from who the fuck is that. So this is kind of the concept. But So yeah, just to talk about the quality of this project, I'm just going to go ahead and list like basically every single one of the freestyles I recommend minus Guess Who's Bazak, which is basically that same song, Guess Who's Back from Scarface's album from 2002, which was The Fix. That's a 2002 beat. Other than that, that's the only real beat I didn't really see. Like it, it's a good beat. It's somewhat of a good beat, Guess Who's Back, but it's just not kind of the song I would have wanted for Dollar to kind of rap over. It just did not didn't quite feel as fresh as I would have liked for it too. But other than that, every other freestyle song on here, Lollipop Freestyle, Storytelling, The Artist Storytelling Freestyle, Boss Freestyle by Rick Ross, Lupe Fiasco Superstar Freestyle, Rock Boys Freestyle, I Won't Tell Freestyle but with Fat Joe, Girl You Know Freestyle with Scarface, Brown Paper Bag Freestyle with DJ Khaled. I mean, all of these are just excellent as far as that kind of goes. Yeah, there's even... I might be freestyle with Gucci Mane. So there's just a number of these and the I'm a do me freestyle with Rocco. So all of these are Dollar has a pretty good fresh selection of beats that he chooses to freestyle over. So that just enhances it even further. Because sometimes you'll get artists who can freestyle real well, but their song selections and the songs they choose to rap over are just pretty poor. But a lot of these are just litty kind of moments from like the first half of 2008 to 2007 back. Just some good times from those particular moments. Just a lot of good hits out of those times. And just some easy kind of ones to see that a, a different variation of it would kind of work. But I'm going to go ahead and talk about like the eight songs on here i'm gonna go ahead and talk about the eight songs on here that are the new songs so we'll get into some of these basically i reckon basically i recommend every single one of the new songs so we'll talk about these so block boy is kind of an evening hustle block boy is kind of an evening hustle song it's a creeping song that, that has a great akon hook on here so that's kind of one with some commercial flares just kind of the typical hustle type tune that akon would do with like cross that line by rick ross or something like that not quite as dark as cross that line but just something of like an akon kind of hustle tune like soul survivor or something it's kind of a tasks almost done type track and it's a lace things up kind of song i definitely feel like this is just a good hustle song for like the after day hours that type of stuff is things are winding down or at least you're getting ready to go get crunk for the night and that type of stuff i feel like one of the best beats on this album that unfortunately isn't on the dat piff edition of this mixtape so if you can find the mixtape version if you can find the mixtape version that has busted babies and the other five songs i listed on here that weren't on here i definitely recommend you find it and just get these songs because busted babies is basically one of the best songs on this album i feel like apart from who the fuck is that busted baby is like top two or top three the best songs on this project it's a synthy kind of club flash tune one of the best beats on the tape and it, this is a killer song to kind of snag this is definitely one of the songs that you should download the mixtape just for this song it's just that good doll is not over abundantly on the song because he has some other cats on there that he raps on there with but this is just a real good it samples plies it's a real good excellent kind of tune for that sort of concept as far as getting like some basically a real just litty and crunchy kind of club bop that just needed a lot more flair than it got so this is kind of the thing it's really too bad that it's not on the tape because this is definitely one i would have favored a lot got my own money is another hit this is kind of like a snippet and a preview of a song kind of but it has t-pain on there this is a looming kind of 2000s era promo bop definitely feel like it has some promo dress to impress type feels about it it's kind of more of a regular stunt track and it's just a nice kind of snappy gems just quick and to the point but it does serve its purpose as far as being like a 
mid kind of promo song just maybe cruising around just it does serve its purpose as far as like being like a mini promo song just in like that concept of just looking snappy getting dressed that type of stuff as far as getting fresh and some of those type moments it's a good kind of song to stunt to definitely would have to say t-pain this is another one this hook is not quite as addictive as who the fuck is that but it works for t-pain just because it seemed like he had a well of just endless hooks that he could it felt like T-Pain just had an endless well of hooks that he could siphon and that type of stuff. This one doesn't have as much auto-tune on there, but still a pretty good one from T-Pain. Twinkle Twinkle's a nice beat on here. Twinkle Twinkle's another top three or top five song on here. It's a sparkly kind of club jam. It's a great song to get tanked to. It's a turned up kind of song, and it has some good turned up kind of vibes. And it's a Friday night track, I would definitely say. Twinkle Twinkle, Bus It Babies, Who the Fuck Is That? These are just all excellent kind of variations of just going out and having a good flashy kind of time. Is would have to say this is actually a full song, so this is not just a snippet. This is a good example of some flashy doll that this works extremely well. Good Friday night song. Look the other way is kind of like a day commerce kind of tune. This is definitely a hustle song like Block Boy, just a little bit more midday and that type of stuff, just a little bit more of the day commerce. It's a regular kind of standard day type feel, but it kind of has some pep about it. I do like the concept of just getting. Doll is pretty good at making these hustle tunes. I feel like he, I mean, obviously with his name being Doll, you would think he'd have some sort of grind and motivation in mind, but these are pretty good examples of just these brief kind of songs that are on here. Kind of makes you wish that there were more than just eight new songs as far as that kind of went, but this was just kind of like. Like a, an appetizer for what he was getting ready to do. So I do like that concept. It's just a good day commerce kind of hustle tune. So Excited is another hit. This So Excited has Akon on here. So Excited is another hit. It has Akon on here. And it's very similar to I Want to Love You by Akon from late 2006. This has a very kind of similar tempo and beat feel as far as that kind of goes. The same kind of template as that. It's some real murky R&B. And it's just a nightclub catch, I would have to say. It's just a real good variation of that. And it's just good to kind of get a variation of I Want to Love You. Because that was a pretty good song. It's good to see like a spin off of that type vibe. It's just too bad. It's just, it's just too bad that it's such a short song and it's just kind of like a snippet of something but it is like a kind of like appetizer song that's pretty damn good so loudmouth is a pasted kind of southern fried club hopper it has like a snappy feel and it has some snarl about it it's just a real nice one definitely reminds me of like some southern smoke and kind of like a chopped and screwed type song that Ludacris or Pimp C would do, something like that. It's really nice appetizer and preview of a song. It's really something Texas-oriented as far as that kind of goes. Just an easy highlight for Dalla. Kind of out of character for him. It didn't seem like that was the sort of vibes that he was on, but it's just a good song that he pulled off. So that's just kind of the thing. So me basically liking all the songs on here. The only three songs I didn't enjoy, just to talk about that, would just be the two a cappella beats, which I don't really like a cappella rap that much. So both those a cappella songs didn't do it for me. And then the only other song, like I said, that I didn't enjoy was just Guess Who's Bazak, which I didn't care for that beat to kind of rap to. So apart from those three songs, the 22 songs on here, every one of these 22 songs minus those three songs I recommend. So it gets a 10 out of 10. One of the few things to complain about on this project is just there's some appetizer songs on here that should have been fleshed out more and should have had like the actual song format. Songs like Loudmouth. So excited, got my own money, and Block Boy are songs that basically needed to be full blown songs. I mean, they're that good of songs where they probably should have just had the extra verses on there. I don't know if Dollar was intending for these to be on his album, just saving them for that, but this is definitely something that just is kind of a disappointment because you would think like he at least managed to put out Who the Fuck Is That as like a full blown song, but there needed to be more songs. There's just not a ton of songs on here that are like full blown songs. I think apart from Who the Fuck Is That, Bus It Babies, and Twinkle Twinkle, there's just not an overabundance of songs. Songs that are actually kind of full-blown songs even look the other way is kind of a snippet of a song so it's just kind of you just get like an appetizer and a tease as far as that kind of goes but you know that's kind of the concept it just needed to be fleshed out more but it still gets a 10 i just would have to say it's just a minor complaint because these songs are good but they're not full-blown most of these songs are over in just about a minute and a half 90 seconds 100 seconds something like that so this is kind of the thing but so i just would look after it like uh in terms of the social score i'll give a 10 out of 10 because a lot of these freestyles are pretty relevant to at least the late 2000s kind of fair and they just have some good job they do the same stuff that lil wayne kind of does and he's a competent lyricist so i do feel like he can keep up with some good lyricists as far as doing some of that he's not just like a weak or he's not just like a weak or kind of low par kind of lyricist so i like the concept of getting some of these so he has enough of those sparkling kind of moments on here to kind of have that in addition to like some new songs despite the fact that most of them are kind of appetizers so some good flashiness definitely recommend busted babies if you can find it twinkle twinkle is an excellent one uh who the fuck is that's pretty good 
so excited. It's a pretty nice one for the briefness of it. And there's just some good moments on here for stepping out in a lot of ways. This is just kind of like an appetizer. That's the main, one of the main primary things to remember is this is just kind of more of like a tease of a project. I mean, it has some good examples, but it's just kind of like just a taste. It's just kind of like a taste. So I just would have to say that, but it's just kind of the thing. So in terms of the future, that's difficult. This, in terms of the future, that's difficult because Dahl is deceased and that's a huge disappointment just because he had so much potential and was getting ready to really blow up and do some great things. But I just look after this is a good taste of a project, but that's basically like the whole thing. It's rave scores. It's definitely quality for what you get, but it's just the fact that it's just so short-lived that that's kind of the problem. That that's pretty much the main problem of the project, but it's got enough good tracks on here that probably keep you sated for a decent while, but I think a lot of people will probably still be left hungry, so.